We are not ready yet to sign on to the ECOWAS single currency. That's according to the central bank. Uh, their concerns, government and the Bank of Ghana are speaking different languages from different angles on the imminent introduction of the eco currency. These concerns follow the Bank of Ghana's introduction of the 100 and 200 CD notes. Speaking exclusively to TV3, Head of Currency Management at the Bank of Ghana, John Jemfi, explains that the most Anglophone countries, including Ghana, are struggling to meet the requirements to sign on to the ECOWAS single currency. The Francophones have stuck together. They have a, sim a single central bank issuing CIFA. So that CIFA has been supported by French francs, now Euro. And so they have a fixed exchange rate arrangement. Unfortunately, the Anglophone countries are on our own separate. And then, before we can even come together to do what the French people have done, there are certain criteria to meet. You have to make sure your inflation is low and stable, and the criteria is 5% or below. As I speak, I don't know any of the Anglophone countries that have met that criteria. You have to make sure you have gross international reserves at all times, that will meet at least three months of imports. Financing to GDP is 4% or below. These we call the principal criteria for adopting the ECO. So we are nowhere near, 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 near ready for the, the, for the single currency. You have to meet it and sustain it. And the evidence on the ground is that the Anglophones, one will meet it this year, the next year he has flopped, another will meet it, somebody missed three instead of four and things like that.